which one is the kidney and which one is the liver? Well, instantly on the East Coast here, you see a bunch of glomeruli. So you know that's the kidney and we don't care about the kidney right now. We're just interested in the liver. Here's the liver. The first thing you notice about it, that it doesn't look normal. But from a more analytical point of view, if you look at the portal areas in which you see the portal vein, hepatic artery, bile duct, like here, and like here, and like here, all the portal areas appear to have more viable liver cells around them. Like all these areas where you see a ring of viable liver cells, there's a portal area inside of them. It's these central vein areas like here and here and here and here that look necrotic. This is necrotic central portion of the labial and a relatively normal portal part of the labial. This is central labular necrosis. Because blood flows from the portal area to the central vein area, if the primary problem was either blood flow or oxygen flow, the parts of the lobule that would become dead or necrotic would be one that was furthest away from the origin of the flow. If, on the other hand, there was a very toxic compound traveling in the same normal direction from the portal area to the central vein area, it would be the portal area that got the first contact with the toxin. So perhaps that part would look bad and the central vein would look better. And that frequently is the case, although we did see a couple of uh, uh, exceptions to that rule. So if you see relatively preserved hepatocytes around a portal area, but uh, necrotic or damaged liver cells in the central vein area, central lobular necrosis, Almost all of the time, that is secondary to congestive heart failure because in congestive heart failure, there's a flow problem in the liver, you know, uh, namely the uh, right, I'm, yeah, I'm sorry, the right ventricle is failing and therefore the blood flow from the uh, portal area to the central vein, to the hepatic vein, to the inferior vena cava, to the right atrium, to the right ventricle is backed up and therefore this is what you see. If it was long standing enough, there could be uh, cirrhosis as well and that's what they call cardiac cirrhosis. And in this picture, you might perhaps see that some of these little bands of connective tissue are giving this liver sort of a nodular appearance. And if you believed that, then you could call it cardiac cirrhosis. And you would probably be right because that's the name of this slide, cardiac uh, cirrhosis. If on the other hand, you didn't think that there was quite enough nodularity yet and you could see generally good spacings, hexagonal type spacings between the portal areas, then you could say that cirrhosis qu hasn't quite happened yet. I personally would not call this uh, cirrhosis, but somebody else did who was a lot smarter than I am. But in either case, it is, uh, if it is uh, cirrhosis, it's very subtle. Uh, cardiac sclerosis or cardiac cirrhosis, secondary to central lobular necrosis, almost always secondary to uh, congestive heart failure. Thank you very much.